Hi, YouTube. It's me, Lonnie, again. Sorry, like my lighting is terrible in here. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, so I was trying today to make water slides for the first time on my, hold on, where did it go? Hold on, I'm in my craft room. Oh, water slides. Like this one. I don't know if you can see it or not, but um, it's this paper that I found from watching somebody else's video. Hold on, let me push it that light up. Okay, that I got from watching somebody else's video, um, and it is called Water Slide Paper, and I'm not sure... Oh, that's stuck on there. I hope I just didn't ruin it. This paper is like $20 for 20 sheets. Uh, but it's, um, you can print images on it and it somehow turns into like something sticky that you can put in. Oh, oh my God, my music. Hold on, let me shut it off. I don't even know what that is. Whoa. But you can turn it into, sorry, my hair is like, I always feel like I'm just like full of paint and full of dust and whatever. But um, you can essentially put it onto a cup with an image on it, which I thought like, wow, isn't that fascinating? Oh my word. Like, so I'm trying that tonight for the first time. And I'm really excited because I got a few more subscribers. I don't know. I don't like. Don't deserve it. I don't feel like it, but thank you so much to Pam, my Pamaru22. Thank you, girl. I know it's all you. She's so giving. But anywho, so I'm working on a few more journals. I just put up a few pictures on the Instagram of things that are going in my shop within this week. And if you guys are interested, just hop on over to um my Etsy shop. I'm hoping to get them up by Thursday, if not the latest. Friday. Ooh. But anywho, um, I am in my little office. I don't know if you can see behind me on my computer and I don't know, like I'll get better at this. I promise. It's just, you know, I guess just practice and, uh, doing it over and over and over and over. Yeah. That's all I can say. And I don't have a really great camera. I have my little Android phone right here, which I'm so angry because I bought this phone. I've had it for like maybe eight months, but I'm notorious for cracking phones. So I got this very expensive cover right here. And the other day when I was sleeping, I heard the phone like I moved my pillow and I keep my phone on the side of my bed, move my pillow, and I heard it go squat. But I was like, no big deal, right? I have the protective thing. I woke up in the morning and went, oh, so I don't know. I'm not sure about these. I think they're not built to last. I mean, unless it falls, I don't know. Like, I just don't know. Anyways, so I'm just kind of working in here, trying to get some stuff done. I'm going to go out into my big garage in a few minutes and work on some tumblers because that's like my new thing. I know, go figure, like, I just get so involved in all these things, and then all of a sudden I'm like, oh my god, I have to write pen pals back, I have to make some junk journals, I have to pack some ephemera, but honestly, like, I just love it, I mean, it's so much fun, I have the best time, really, honestly, I do, and it keeps me busy, it keeps me out of trouble, not really, <laughs> I don't really get into trouble, I barely leave the house, come on, so, Anyways, um, I just want to give a quick shout out to my daughter, Jessica, and my grandbabies. I miss you guys. <laughs> Grammy loves you. Um, also, what else is happening? April Fools. I haven't fooled anybody today. And I don't think I've gotten fooled yet. And if I did, I didn't notice it. But anyways, just wanted to stay in touch because I'm trying to get, like, uh, enough content together so I can bring you guys something fun. Um, I think one of my videos is going to be how to do an altered book because when I first started doing junk journals, 
I watched a lot of that and it like fascinated me. And sometimes those are way easier because you don't have to really worry so much about the creating the cover itself. So I'm going to maybe do a video on that. And then another thing is start saving your cereal boxes or your cracker boxes or something like that. Because I have made so many journals out of junk, just like uh, old cereal boxes, old cracker boxes, whatever. And, you know, if you mess one up, you don't feel so bad because it's not an actual, you didn't spend a lot. You know, you're actually using what you have. But, you know, very honestly, some of those are like the most beautiful ones I've made because I try all kinds of things. Decoupage, uh, you know, using napkins, cloth different types of um, adhesives and glosses and paints and inks. And it's, it's crazy. There, it's like, there's no right. There's no wrong. I think once you get the general idea of what it takes, then it's just like, you're off to the races. <laughs> That's how I was like, it's really fun. And then I find myself getting like obsessed with, stickers and inks and glues and then when I see things like I'm like oh that would be pretty as a page or that would be you know end up asking people um can I have your cereal box or when you're done eating that can I have that it's true <laughs> that's true I do that but you know what I'm not embarrassed because most of the time after I get done with it they're like oh, can I have that of course I say yes because that's just who I am just kidding. <laughs> but no, I just love creating. It's so much fun. But anyway, guys, well, I just wanted to pop in. I'm sorry about this. I don't know, like, what's happening here. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and for coming over. And thank you to Pam. Pam Aru, I love her so much. She just lifts me up every time, like, pretty much this morning. She totally rocked my world. Like I can tell when she feels the spirit of Jesus because her voice gets very strong and very like, oh, just like, oh, and I'm, like every time she does that, I can't wait because I know it's going to travel through the computer to me. And I'm just like, you go girl, come on. Like it, it's seriously like that. Oh my God. Like I love when her voice starts doing that. Like it just, I can be, have it on and be in my kitchen getting a glass of water, run back to my bedroom, go, oh, heck yeah, you know, I know the spirit of the Lord, you know, and what is that verse? I don't know it exactly because I'm not well versed in the Bible yet, but um, I do know that wherever two or more gather in my name, there I shall be also. And that's just so moving to me, thinking of all of us just watching this at different times and all praying, not the same prayer, but listening to the word as he puts it through Pam. And I always say that, um, you know, God knows us, our hearts, our minds, uh, what we respond to, how to get to us. And I have been like through, I've been to church all my life. I grew up as a Catholic, you know, but strong, really scary things, you know, and then I became a Christian and, um, I've been one for probably 23 years and I've been through different churches, but like when you find somebody that actually speaks to your heart and you know that as God is using that person as a vessel to get to you, that is amazing. And that is how I feel with Pam. Like God will bring me who I need and help me to understand that person or know that that person was meant for me so I can learn something from her. Or, you know, I vibe with her like that. Like, just she, her teaching is just so real and so raw. And just everything. Like, I just, everything. I can't even, I, I don't, it's all, it has to be all God. All God. That's all it is. Well, not all, but I mean, that's everything that it is. Thank you, praise you, Jesus. But, I mean... I'm just so grateful. And every day that I listen to it, like sometimes I'll have to listen to two or three because I've missed a few. Sorry, Pam, but I always watch the replay. <laughs> but um, it's awesome. Can't get enough of that, Pam. <laughs> but anyways, all right, girls, uh, have a great evening. And hopefully uh, I will see you again 
this week when I'm feeling brave enough to make another video and hopefully I'll have my stuff organized to start doing either an altered book or just a junk journal out of just junk, like stuff that is around your house. You'd be surprised, like honestly, you would be totally surprised. Scissors, glue, cereal box, uh, anything that you think is beautiful, old cards, wrapping paper, tissue paper, material, um, mail that you get in the mail, just things, clippings from magazines, anything that you can collect, start collecting in a little box. And maybe that will be my first video because that is the most inexpensive way. And when you make a mistake, you're just like, oh, I'll just get another cereal box. No big whoop, right? So anyway, just let me know if you want to do that or an altar book and I will be happy to oblige. In the meantime, God bless you. Welcome to the Girlfriend Club. And you know, if you're going to do something, do it all the way. Be happy. Have a smile. And when you're feeling down, I believe the best way to feel better is to serve somebody else. That's a whole other story right there. My word for the year started out as uh, healthy, I think, health, fitness. And then all of a sudden, God changed my heart. And I feel like I should be serving. You know, I just feel like that's my word really, really deeply, strongly. I don't know what happened. But anyway, I apologize if this video, oh, ooh, Claire, I apologize if this video was like boring or whatever, but thank you so much. And thank you for coming to my channel and hopefully I'll see you guys around. Love you. Bye. Click.